Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents me, that's Deborah, um, with the Saturday vloggy thing. Yes, we have made it into the official first Saturday of the new year. Wow. It's been a crazy week already, at least here in my life. I don't know about your crochet and life and stuff, but in mine, it's been kind of wacky. There's been lots of work. Um, yeah, lots of work. There's been lots of crochet. I'm living in Whipville. Yeah, that's a thing. And, oh, today, by the way, I am wearing a merch shirt from Lisa Ladybird Loves. It says Ladybird Loves down here at the bottom, which you can't see that far down because, you know, I'm filming on the phone and it's a crazy thing. And on the back, it says it's not that kind of channel because that is something that gets said, gets said a lot on Lisa's Lives. So I will link Lisa somewhere there. Uh, starting with uh, the, the life and stuff part of the crochet. Oh my goodness. Where do you start? For one thing, I work too much to get to crochet as much as I want. Let's be real. Uh, another thing, sometimes I cook. And uh, last night I made some soup that honey, yes, I have to, you know, pat myself on the back for it because it was quite good. Uh, cabbage, um, some Korean rice cakes, seasoned up with miso. Yes, I use a light miso that is a low sodium, so it's not too ultra salty. And a bunch of ginger and garlic. And it was pretty good. Yes, there's some left over. I might have some for lunch. So we'll see about that. But yeah, that's, that's you know, 12 hour day of working. And I was like, I gotta use this cabbage. It had been in the fridge for a week. You know how that goes. It's like, this has got to get it. So I made soup and it turned out great. So I was really happy about that. Um, oh, other food adjacent things. Um, I have been a member of Garden State Gardeners channel, Joe, for quite a while now. And I go and I do the giveaways with him and I enjoy his lives. He's a lot of fun. I know zero about growing things, okay? I have often said I have a black thumb. I've managed to kill cactus, so yeah. But since my friend Lisa gardens, and she's really good at it, and Joe has this thing where he's gardening, he's doing all kinds of peppers. He's mostly peppers and tomatoes and yum, yum, yum. And I got introduced to another channel, um, Jimmy Pickles. Jimmy Pickles Peppers. It's, it's hard to say and I will try to link him somewhere and in the description and I took a little tiny leap and bought some of his seeds he not only has the super mega whamadine hot seeds he's also got some that are more suited to a person who cannot handle that kind of heat I bought just a, like three little varieties of pepper seeds and he does isolated seeds I have learned a lot like intellectually about it I just don't know what to physically do so we'll have to see about that. I'm hoping that I could manage to get at least a pepper or two out of the experience. <laughs> so that's a thing. That happened this week too. Also, Torrid kept sending me emails. <sighs> I placed a Torrid order. I had Torrid cash. You can't let Torrid cash go to waste. And I just heard something in the living room. I think some crochet hooks just hit the floor. But, you know, we're just going to let that roll. We're going to let it ride. Right now, anyway. I'm on a break from work, by the way, while I'm recording this. So, yes. Um, also, oh my gosh, I lost my train of thought. Gosh, I hate that. Anywho, got that all sorted. They're changing over systems at work to something different with the way that we log on and log off. But since we all work virtually now, it's it's more of a thing than it needs to be. So that's been fun. So yeah, stress levels high, getting more grays. Oh my God, I've gotten so gray. I can see myself in my phone. That's why, yes. So yeah, but I said I was living in Whipville and also Unstartedville. I plan on participating in the hashtag rock 2022 AU for Australia crochet along with Judy at Witch Peace Crafts. I will link her somewhere up here or link her playlist for that. It's already started. It's going to be every two weeks and 
I'm waiting on my yarn. Yes. When Joanne had their big $1.99 sale for Big Twist, I ordered some in some colors that I thought that I would need for this project that I don't have. It's a good value yarn. It was a buck ninety nine. I could have got an extra twenty percent off if any Joanne's within fifty flipping miles of me had a yarn selection. Um, because yeah, if you order like the pickup at the curb thing with them, you get twenty percent off your order. <sighs> they never they're always out of everything. Matter of fact, I have already gotten three packages from Joanne which is a total of five skeins of yarn. And another one is coming with the rest of it on Monday. Supposedly. We'll see how it gets here. But those are the colors that I need for this first part of that crochet along. I'm looking forward to that. It should be fun. It's going to be a year-long thing. And uh, yeah, that's fun. Speaking of year-long things, let me show you the first part of my year-long thing that I'm doing for myself. I decided this on my own and right now it's in this little bitty thing here, not the yarn for it, but I am doing a temperature project. A temperature blanket as a matter of fact. Yes, my numbers are wonky, okay? It was my first time trying uh, top stitching. <clears throat> 22 for the year, as in 2022. One for the month, that is January. And these are the first several days of January. Yes, they are two colors each. The inner part of the square is the low temperature for the day. The outer part of the square is the high temperature for the day. And all of it is going to be in blues and shades of blues. I have not done yesterday's yet because it's still morning time and I haven't had time to look it up and, you know, start it. The way I look at it, these are little squares. It's not like doing enormous rows of crochet every day. And I crochet every day anyway. So... It's coming along. I like the color blend. That's the way I'm doing my joins. I want the joins to be visible. All the joins are going to be in white. The only time I will have a white square, actually I decided against that. I was gonna do a white square if it snows. If it snows, which is rare here, I'm just going to find some kind of a little small snowflake applique to put on top. <laughs> so we'll see about that. But there we go. The temperature blanket has begun. And that will be going on throughout the year. I'll keep you updated on progress. And uh, for right now, it's in this bag. Something else that I'm working on, ooh, that is sort of the first part of the year, as you may have seen in the thumbnail, I have this calendar. Um, the Annie's Crochet Calendar 2022 for year-round accessories, it says. Um, I'm trying new things. This is something that is brand new for me. This winter solstice hot pad. It's in green and white. I didn't want to do green and white. So I'm doing red and white. And I have actually done a round. Two rounds. No, I've done a round and a half. No, it's two and a half rounds. Well, I've gotten a little bit. And I'm following a graph. And that's my first time ever trying to do that. And I'm carrying yarn. That's new too. So, yeah. It's going to be round and round and round. And we'll see how it goes. <laughs> it's slow going for me because I have to really pay attention to where I am. And oh gosh, there's no hook in it. So I'm pulling stitches out. Fantastic. But um, yeah, that stays next to me in the living room. And when I have time to sit and look at the chart and realize where I am, I can do a few stitches. Other than that, Ooh, I get lost. Try reading the directions. Pew! But I kind of understood what it was saying. So I'm following it and looking at the graph and being like, okay, this, this, this. And what I'm using is, because it's going to be a hot pad, I'm using this uh, recycled cotton, this Reef cotton that I got on sale, uh, Lion Brand, in white and red. Very, very simple. These are four weights each ball of this is 70 grams 107 meters so there you go i thought it'd be nice and bright it'll be a hot pad even if it's not perfect it's a hot pad i'll live something else <clears throat> living in whitville but not a year-long project hopefully i did finally work on a little bit more of <laughs> earlier <laughs> In previous episodes I was making wrist warmers you know fingerless gloves 
And I ended up thinking too they were two different sizes. Because, you know, I'm kind of a dork. So I'm making another one of the smaller ones, which those will not stay with me because they're too small for my gigantic hands. And then I will make the second one of the larger ones so that I can actually wear the blasted things. This is what they look like. They look very, very simple. This is the smaller one and I don't want to stretch it out, but this is in Red Heart Unforgettable in Dragonfly. I love the color. I love the yarn. Don't love frogging it though. Frogging Unforgettable. Ooh, it's unforgettable. I promise you. Okay. So that's the thing that's happening. Oh, sorry, cat. Don't get underfoot. Oscar just got underfoot. You may have heard that little rail because I stepped and he was there. I am making out of Mandela cakes. We all know the Mandela cakes. This is in the color unicorn. Making my little corner to corner doohickey thing. And I've gotten a little bit further. I love the way the colors blend in this. I mean, that, that really is the strength of this yarn. It says it's a three, um, it, it's, a, it's a nice three, it's a hefty three, I would say. It says to use like a four millimeter hook or a four and a half millimeter hook. Mm -mm. I want it more open and drapey. I'm using a six. Yes, I still plan on making the tutorials the way I do corner to corner, which is a little bit different than a lot of people. I just haven't had a minute because, you know, 60 hour weeks really take your time out. So... That is in this little bag. Now, okay, making sure I haven't forgotten any whips floating around because they're kind of everywhere right now. I'm kind of proud of myself for this one. So I'm going to show it again, even though I showed it last week. The hubby blanket. No, I'm not done. Be real, okay. But in one week, I did get this many rows done. This was my progress keeper. I'm up to here. All of my ends are sewed in except for like from here up. That's all that's not sewed in. I've been trying to keep up with that too. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six. I've done eight rows in a week. May not seem like a lot, but this is very, very wide. It is wider than I am tall and I'm 5'11". It ended up being a huge blanket. So, and this, by the way, is all done with Joanne Big Twist, um, Big Twist Value, Medium Gray, Soft Gray, Varsity Red, and Black. That's what it's done in. And these are all, the, the tall groups here are extended link double crochets, and the little ones are just single crochets all the way across, just to give a little pop color in there. There is going to be a border around it. There is no pattern. It's all beginner crochet brain such as it is, but it's coming along. I'm finally feeling like I'm making some progress on this. So I am trying to work on it some, if not every day, then at least a few days a week. My time to work on crochet is after work. So after dinner, I I'm sitting there, hubby and I are watching a little TV or some videos. I'm crocheting. This is something I can do in front of the TV. The corner to corner, I can do while watching TV. Some of the other things I have to really be thinking about. So yeah that's a thing do you have any projects you can do just while doing other things of course i know people who can crochet and not even look at it no i can't do that i have to be looking at what i'm doing at least a little bit this i can kind of look and you know kind of i'm right in front of the tv so i can look and watch tv at the same time some of the other things no i gotta be staring at it like that hot pad i'm working on that is not a tv project that is a okay this stitch I do this. I don't know how people do mosaics. Whew. Anywho. No finished objects. I mean, I've got a no faux week. I don't like that. I gotta have something for Fauxville next week. Because, I mean, whips are nice, but... Oh wait, that's another saying. It's not that kind of channel. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm going to try to have everybody that I talked about linked down below and up here in all those places. And um, by the way, if you've made it this long, thank you. I appreciate you sticking around to the end, endish here. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, I'd love it if you would do that. Make sure you turn on the notifications though, because YouTube has a habit of not telling people 
when videos come out. I do more than just the Saturday vloggy thing. I've also got time for tea. That's on Mondays. I've got snacks around the world on Tuesdays. All around the world. Got some good ones coming up. Uh, I've also got uh, book look on Sundays. And anything else in between because that's how it just kind of happens. Thank you again for coming by. I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.